Hello, this is another video of Epidemic Simulations 1. We hope you enjoy it. And, um, we're just going to go down to the full model because we don't want to waste any time. So, these are the basic bars. So, this is a hospital capacity. If the number of infected people are bigger than this capacity, then everybody gets infected. This is the fatality rate. This is the self-quarantine rate. This is the self-quarantine strictness. You know what that means. And this is the number of encounters a, for a day. This is the travel radius. This is the chance of transmission. This is days of incubation where you can't have self-quarantine. And this is the days with symptoms where you have, where you can have. So basically, this is what happens. Because the strictness is lower than 100%, it didn't work out so well. So what would happen if the strictness was 99%? That is an interesting question. Um, same thing. But what would happen if the strictness was 100%? This is, this is what happens. Huh? I know, it's weird. It's very weird. But isn't it surprising that almost nobody got... Some people actually got infected when only five people at the start. Which is something we'll talk about. You know what? Let's reduce it to... In the transmission also. And so, no so corn self-quarantine and let's go with this model now the travel makes it really difficult but if the travel radius was 30 but the encounters per day was only 4 then what would happen uh, almost everybody still gets infected which makes sense. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oops, this is just a source code. You don't need to care about it. So this is basically the script. Let's just pass on to the video. I just got passed away. But we don't care about it. Anyways, what would happen if the quarantine rate was 90%? Um, you might have seen this coming. Um, you probably are surprised by that. I know, you were surprised by that. But what would happen if the days with symptoms is much longer? And there was a day, one day, with incubation. One single day with incubation. <laughs> um... Due to the day of incubation period, it, um, almost everybody got infected. You know what I mean here, right? So, we're going to go to a next, another simulation where sadly we can't see the real people, but 
It does show you the graph at least. A very f what simulation? I just call it the what because it just seems like the right name. You know, you see. And in the last video, in the last video, we'll add, we'll use this simulation where we use tons of, where we use tons of strategies that are shown here to effectively help out take down the disease.